Hello, Massachusetts teachers. We are so excited that you are here with us today to um, think a little bit about um, family engagement. Just really acknowledge all you are doing for all learners every day. And thank you so much for taking a few minutes of your time to think about um, dual capacity engagement and how we can um, include families as equal partners in their children's education. Um, so I wanted to share, um, first of all, we'd be grateful if you could um, con complete this survey uh, that includes a few anonymous questions. You're welcome to share your email if you would like. And then we just wanted to share um, some ideas about how you might first engage with your families. Obviously, I'm um, sure you all uh, or know that a welcome message would be great. Um, it could be silly or funny or any way that your uh, families and constituents can see kind of your personality and how excited you are to work with them and engage with them. Um, you might also invite your students to do the same. For those that are comfortable, create a welcome message that in, through which you can learn about them. Um, always hopes and dreams ask you know really draw on the families to share how you can connect with their child um, if they have tips or strategies or what sorts of things make them tick tick um, and then maybe schedule individual conferences with the students to learn about their interests and assets and the things that challenge them um, obviously you know if you're a middle school or high school teacher you may have um, you know that may you may have too many students to do the individual conferences, but if at all possible, it'd be, you know, I think uh, very helpful and even just voice conference um, would be great. Look for connections and entry points for building meaningful relationships. Um, as you all know, and as the research shows that relationships are really trusting relationships are the foundation of really everything that we can achieve throughout the year. Um, really start out the year by, you know, doing a physical um, check-in with your students, with their families. Just make sure that they have all their basic needs met, um, you know, food, shelter, health care, child care. And then um, there's there are services within the city and within your school that, that you can then, you know, forward that information to and make sure that each family has what they need, um, you know, kids cannot cannot learn uh, without their basic needs met. So make sure you're checking in on that. Um, and all these other areas are important, but I would say right now that, you know, the emotional and the physical wellness um, are, are really key. This is linked to the documents. You can print it out. Your families can print it. The schools can print it out for the families. Um, this is something that they can print out in color, um, really color, the, you know, the, the how they identify and how they're feeling that day. Um, added this one as perhaps a Friday, uh, fun Friday checkout. You might ask your families or your students to commit to engaging in something um, that that would help them feel good over the weekend. And just um, you know, so we all remember to put our own oxygen masks on first. Remember that we are building the plane as we are flying it, and to just give each other lots of grace and support in these times. Provide lots of ways um, that families, specific things families can do. I realize that not every child may be, you know, unfortunately fortunate enough to have a caretaker at home with them, uh, particularly if they're, you know, older kids, but at the lower elementary, preschool, early childhood, there certainly would be um, a caretaker uh, with the child and just give them specific tips of things they can do um, to set help their child set goals for the day, to check in with them um, various times and consider doing lots of brain breaks and fun activities that they can disconnect and move around a bit. Um, I like also at the dinner table at the end of the day or at whatever community moment there might be to share high and low points or ask a silly question. Um, you can find some of those examples at Camp Kinda. That they can always read with their children and give, um, you can even give like script or, or phrases that they might use to give gentle nudges when they think their child can do more or better. And then lots of praise as they overcome obstacles. 
Um, these are all really good things, very concrete ways that families can support their learners at home. And finally, just make sure that you are providing, uh, that you're collecting the preferred, how many times have we wanted to contact families and then we don't know if they're checking or if they're checking emails or if our phone messages have gotten through. So make sure that you're asking families how they want to be contacted and when, or that your school has done this perhaps. And then be sure to let them know how to connect, how to contact you and when. Um, and then I think that you'll be really set up for a fantastic school year. Remember that we will be doing Mindful Mondays here at the, um, at the Federation for Children with Special Needs in the Department of uh, statewide family engagement. We will be offering that. We're planning on offering Mindful Mondays starting September 21st at 4 p.m. So if you just want to, um, again, complete this survey here, then you will, um, then we'll be able to contact you when we have the Mindful Mondays up and running. Thank you so much and have a wonderful school year.